Welcome to Tech Shorts, and welcome back to my channel as we cover vinyl records. I have covered this before, but I'm going to get more in depth this time. So please, like and subscribe. I can use your support as I want this channel to grow, as I love making content for each and every one of you. So now we're going to be looking into the history of vinyl records. Let's start. The history of sound recording began with Thomas Edison who invented the phonograph in 1877. His device was the first to successfully record and playback sound. Edison's phonograph used a cylinder wrapped in tin foil, which would capture sound as indentations on the surface. Though primitive, the breakthrough laid the foundation for future developments. A decade later, Emil Berliner revolutionized sound recording with the invention of the gramophone, which used flat discs, or records instead of cylinders. These flat discs were more practical, easier to produce, and store. The gramophone records were initially made of shellac and became the dominant format for music distribution. The early part of the 20th century saw the standardization of the 10-inch, 78 revolutions per minute RPM records. These records could hold about three to five minutes of sound per side and they became the main medium for commercial music releases. Victrola by Victor's Talking Machine Company became a popular home phonograph, solidifying the gramophone's place in homes worldwide. In 1948, Columbia Records introduced the 33 and one third RPM long playing record, would later be abbreviated as an LP. It was made of vinyl instead of shellac. Vinyl was lighter, more durable, and had better sound quality. LPs could hold up to 20 to 30 minutes of music per side, making them perfect for albums rather than single tracks. At the same time, RCA Victor introduced the 45 RPM single in 1949. This smaller, cheaper format held about 3 minutes per side and became the preferred medium for singles. Between the 1950s and the 1980s, the LP became the standard for albums, revolutionizing the music industry by allowing artists to create cohesive albums rather than focusing on single tracks. On the other hand, the 45 RPM record became the format of choice for pop and rock singles, especially in the jukebox era when artists like Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry became popular due to this medium. This also led to the dominance of record players and vinyl records in homes creating a shared musical culture. In the 1980s, the cassette tape and later the compact disc, abbreviated CD, challenged vinyl's dominance. Cassettes offered portability and the ability to record while CDs provided superior sound quality and durability. By the 1990s, CDs had almost completely replaced vinyl as the primary medium for music distribution. After years of decline, vinyl made a surprising comeback in the 2000s. This resurgence, often called the vinyl revival, was driven by audiophiles and collectors who appreciated the warm sound and tangible nature of records. Today, vinyl sales are growing and they have become the symbol of music nostalgia and analog warmth in the digital age. Today, vinyl records are produced using high quality materials and cutting edge techniques, with many contemporary artists releasing music on vinyl alongside digital formats. The aesthetic and tactile appeal of records, along with their distinctive sound quality, continue to attract a diverse range of listeners. So, thank you for watching TechX Retro, and I hope that you enjoyed this walk down memory lane on the importance of vinyl and its history on music as we know it today. Please like, subscribe, and of course leave a comment if you want to see more or if you have any comments about what we just spoke about.